The first instruction is always worship Allah alone and be conscious of Him and follow Him. That's the first warning. Yes, it's an instruction. Why is it called a warning? Because of the damaging effect of not doing that. When Allah says, worship me alone, why does he say that? He says, I made you, where were you before you were born? You were with me. Where are you going to be after you die? You're going to be with me. So say, O oh you who made me, I worship you. O oh you whom I'm going to return to, I worship you. And you alone, subhanallah. Be good on earth. Allah tells you, worship me alone and be kind to mankind. Be good. We've kept you here. Be good to everything around you, not only everyone. Your environment should be at peace with you. You don't just harm animals. You don't just harm or destroy the environment. It's from Allah. If you need to perhaps take down a tree or something, Bismillah, you need it, you may do it. But you don't just go around destroying the ecosystem and not being concerned about the environment. Today, people are speaking about going green. In Islam, the color that a lot of people use is actually green to depict the religion. Although there is no official color of the religion, but it's just a point of observation. May Allah grant us ease. May Allah grant us goodness. Remember, we have been taught to preserve, to protect. If I am taught to look after the plants, what about my fellow human being? Subhanallah. If I am taught that there's a reward in animals and the care of animals, what about humankind that Allah says, لَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ فِي أَحْسَنِ تَقْوِيمِ We have created mankind in the best of postures. The Prophet ﷺ refers to us as Ashraf al-Makhluqat, which means the most noble of all the creatures of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So take care. Take care of your duties unto Allah. Take care of your duties unto the rest of creation.